Hi, this is Alan Cho. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get started with Stardust. First, you have to go to the Stardust project homepage to obtain the source code of Stardust. The URL is code.google.com slash p slash stardust dash particle dash engine. This is what its, uh, what its homepage looks like. Here are some links. This links to a PDF manual and uh, in the documentation and the Flash Develop templates. In the following video of tutorials, I'm going to use Flash Develop as my primary code editor. So you can download these Flash Develop templates. And here's a forum, forum for Stardust. And this is my blog, and I'll post any news, uh, Stardust news on my blog. You can download the latest Stardust example, source code, and compile suite file over here in the Featured Downloads section. Now I'm going to download the example, save it on my desktop, download the source code, also save it. Now I'm going to decompress these two RR files. That's a lot of things. Yeah, because I include the documentation in the RR file. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. I'll move them into a folder. Oops, I mixed together the source file and examples. I'll pack these examples into another folder. Start as example, read me. Alright. So in this SRC folder is the Stardust source code. As you can see, this is a Flash Develop project. So if you want to look around in the Stardust project, you can open this project file with Stardust. All right, so now let's open Flash and add a new class path. So first we go to where is it? Oh, okay. Edit and prefaces, action script, action script settings, and press this plus sign to add your class path. Copy this and paste it here. But I already added the class path, so I'll skip this. All right. So to test your class path setting. You can open uh, an example to test your class pass. Let's open this blizzard effect. Hmm. That's pretty slow. All right, it's open. So I'll just press Control Enter to compile it. I have no idea why it's so slow this time. Well, anyway, it compiles. So I successfully compiled this example file, which means my class path for Stardust is correctly set. Alright, so this is what you have to do before starting to work with Stardust.